reason I sit here tonight was to try and shoot one of them dang turkeys that I missed. I'm gonna go get that bolt. Stupid crossbow. Blame it on the crossbow. If I'd had my recurve, I'd have killed that turkey. still in good shape. Just have to clean it off a little bit. Well, just thought I'd give a journal update here. It's the 14th of October. No deer down yet. I ain't stressing it too much. I am craving some fresh inside tenders. But, as you can hear, it's raining right now. Well, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to tell you guys something right here. thing right here is called a portal roof. I bought this I don't know how many years ago. At least 10, 15, maybe 15 years ago. I don't know. A long time ago. It's an umbrella you put up above you while you're hunting. It screws right into the tree. I lost everything that goes to it but this. But you can put it on one of these hooks that you can buy at Walmart. Just straighten that end up a little bit, and it'll work. You can put that on there, and it'll keep you dry on days like this. And it just sounds like rain hitting leaves above you. So get you one of these. These things are awesome, especially for days like today. But big cold front coming in. It's going to be cool for the next week. So I'm getting pretty excited. My favorite time of the year is coming up, muzzleloader. I'm just getting out there, switching to the longbow, getting away from the crossbow for a little bit. I just ain't had no luck with it. Uh, as you've seen before, that's not the first turkey I've missed with that thing since the season began. So, switching to the longbow, hopefully get something done. Like the old saying goes, you can't kill them at home. Alright, well, here we go again. <laughs> Gene's on a sleigh and roll this year. He's got a buck down. Let's hear the story, Gene. Put out the deer dander this evening when I got in the stand. Got set up. I sit there about 6 o'clock. He come walking in, lifting his head up, sniffing that deer dander. I'm walking in about 41 yards. He uh, stopped from sniffing and licking the ground. So uh, I decided I was gonna put an arrow in him. <laughs> how, he walk, how big is he, Gene? Is he is a pretty good size? He's not real big. But you know what? I, I found that it doesn't take, when something happens like that, and everything goes to plan, you know, if you feel like shooting, you should shoot him. I feel like shooting them. Hey, if you feel like shooting them, shoot them. <laughs> Unless you have some kind of antler restriction. But we're going to go out. Gene said the old exit brought it hit him good. And he didn't, how far did he go? He ran probably 50 yards. 50 yards. He fell over dead. And that was that, that was the same broadhead you shot the doe with? Same broadhead you shot the doe with. But he tore the arrow up, what he was telling me, and he couldn't find his broadhead. So. Can't find the broadhead. Two, two deer with one broadhead, that, that's pretty good. That, that'd be all right. That'd be all right. That's worth the money, isn't it? It's worth the money. <laughs> that's all that's left out of, the, out of it. Man. Complete pass through again. Ooh, yeah. Well, we're headed to the trail. Deer dander, exit broadhead. Woo! Well, here he is. I tell you what, that's a pretty nice buck. Yeah, uh, we had dragging quite a ways, but I tell you what, what do you think, Gene? Are you a deer dander fan now? I'm a deer dander fan. <laughs> I 
Pretty good eight point. Not bad. Gonna be some nice eating. 40, <laughs> 41 yards while you shot him at. Made a pass through shot. Tell you what, good deal right here. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Team Fitzgerald Sense, pioneers in the outdoor industry, crusading since 1974. Visit them at www.teamfitzgerald.com for all your scent needs. Sign up for the newsletter and be the first to know about big savings. Exit Broadheads. Visit them at www.exitbroadheads.com because blood trails don't lie. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.